views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, hello, everyone. Wow. Um, Today's a big day. I know that there's a lot of emotions flying around out there. Um, If you're new to my show, I want to say hello and welcome to our listening family. We are focusing today on there is nothing to fear when Archangel Michael is near. That's the title and this topic of the show today. We are going to be taking your calls for intuitive angel readings, but we are also really going to take a focus here to send out the love, the light, where all the fear is. It's all over the place right now, if you're looking at the news. We want to honor all the things from history that have happened. We have a lot of that emotion flying around a little bit. We've lost people we loved. We've had some tough times with that. Um, But we also want to put some love and light onto that, because if we have lost people in the September 11th, back in the in that horrible event that happened, that tragic pain. We also have people over there on the other side that very much want us to live and thrive and be happy, and they're happy when we are. And I do want to put that out there. So we can love them and connect with them so much. Uh, If you have that situation going on, we send you a lot of love and light right now. But also we want to move forward. We want to bring in the light where it needs to shine, in the darkest corners, where the hatred is, where the fear is, all of those things. And Michael is the go-to angel for that. He is a powerful aspect of the divine God, the universal love, whatever your word is for it. But he is uh, an incredible aspect of this. Uh, He can be anywhere at the same time. He can be all over. So when we do this show, we want to start it off with the intention and invoking this angel to work with us through this show. We're going to be asking him for guidance. We're going to be asking him to comfort and help us release toxic energies, uh, attachments, um, anything toxic, whether it's a relationship, an addiction, whatever you have going on, what's holding you back, what's got you scared. Uh, But we also want to replace that with a lot of the love and the support that he can bring, because when he's around, you can feel very, very safe. I've had a lifelong relationship with this beautiful angel. And every day we work together. He does work with light workers quite a bit because of what we're out there doing. And if you're a light worker, I want you to join me in this intention today to help us unite this love energy coming from all of our hearts out there to a world that really needs a lot of love right now, including beginning with yourself. I have, if you have your crystals around, if, if, if you have them, I have them all around me right now. They're wonderful antennas, but I'm also working with a Uh, clear quartz sphere today, the round, because to me, this represents the world. So we were definitely sending it to all parts of the world today, if you're listening from anywhere. Now, before we start this and bring anybody into the show, I want you to take a moment here. We're going to begin this off with that invocation 
not a long meditation. If you're driving, that's fine. You can listen to this part. It's about a minute. Uh, Just don't close your eyes, please. (laughs) Please don't close your eyes if you're driving, you know, but if you are in the car, that's fine. This is not the same thing as a deeper meditation, but I want you to take your focus. If you have the photograph um, or if you're listening to the iCarve archive, you can see this on my um, on my website for the show page for this. And I've posted it Twitter everywhere. Uh, I have put Michael's sword up. It's a beautiful painting uh, by an artist named Ryan. It was painted back in 2007. And it is the sword with this beautiful light coming off the end. So you can use that as a focal point if you have that picture available to you. Uh, I want you to focus with intention on Archangel Michael coming and being with you during the broadcast, during this episode, that he is with you right beside you, holding your hand through the whole thing, wrapping his incredible wings around you. And with intention and asking him for the help and the guidance you need. Whether you're calling in or you're just listening, that's fine. You don't have, you know, you know, obviously it can't take so many callers, but that doesn't matter because you will receive exactly what you need to know in that moment. Just ask him to be with you, open you up and keep you safe. So you don't have to worry about what's coming in. You know that it's safe. Bring that intention in with a deep breath. Embrace this. Embrace this beautiful angel and know that you're safe. Now, if you want to call into the show, the number is 1-800-930-2819. 1-800-930-2819. Because we want to bring in healing. We want to bring in the healing. So... Now, let me tell you a little bit about this angel. If um, Some people get a little nervous about this because they sometimes feel like we're worshiping angels. That is not the case at all. We have a beautiful realm of angelic beings that are there to assist mankind. Um, we hear about them in different belief systems, but sometimes, you know, we're not supposed to talk directly to them. I don't see it that way. Um, we are working with an aspect of the divine, just like you're an aspect. Of. Think about that. If we're all connected and we're all different aspects, you are working with a divine higher frequency aspect that can really help you move forward in life. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing. He is the angel of protection. He is a incredible, I mean, he's beautiful. You usually see him in paintings with his sword. And I had an incredible vision a few years ago, which is why you see this horse that I always use in my icon. And if you have, you may have heard me talk about this before, but it was very powerful. Um, I was having visions and dreams after the horse was painted which was an intuitive painting, Um, not intending to paint the white horse, but that's what we ended up with. And I absolutely love that horse. It's a huge transformational inspiration piece to me. Now, in my visions, I was on on a dirt path and I had the white horse right there and Michael was with me and he takes me and he picks me up and he puts me on this horse and then he hands me his sword. And I remember feeling like, oh, well, th- this was several years ago. And I said, no, I'm trying to give him the hor- uh, the sword back. And he says, no, you're going to need it where you're going. And a few years later, I'm really starting to understand. And he taught me how to use this beautiful sword of his um, to cut those cords, to empower and bring those pieces of me back that belong to me, not somebody else. And I want to help you with that today. So we're going to take a short break. If you want to call in again, 1-800-930-2819. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen. There is nothing to fear when Archangel Michael is near. We'll be right back. Up 
about your loving the sunny evenings, the fun we used to share. Looking through the memories in my mind. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio, the new mainstream in radio. Hi, this is Victoria Cohen, psychotherapist and soul coach here in Seattle. I'm giving a workshop called Thank Goodness for Gratitude at East West Bookshop, September 21st from 1 to 4. Gratitude works its magic as an antidote to challenging emotions, offering us an uplifting alternative to fear, anger, resentment, envy, regret, and depression. Call to register for the event at 206-523-3726 or online at eastwestbookshop.com. Helia Sophie, Sun Wisdom for the Crystal Age. Learn how humanity can align with a solar stream of wisdom coming from the central sun and assist our gradual awakening. Discover how you can accelerate the dawning of a new solar worldview. Get a wider paradigm and prepare yourself for new levels of your own awakening. At MERU University, two days online, August 31st and September 7th. Helia Sophie, Sun Wisdom for the Crystal Age. Register at MERUUniversity.org. Tired of traditional talk? People pontificating about this or that, the left or the right. Sometimes the truth is just all lost in the noise. Tune in each week to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. As nationally known guests talk about what's important to you, your life, your concerns, and your success. Tune in and turn on to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher. Visit ChuckGallagher.com for more information. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Pat. I am super excited about the Women of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival coming in October. For those of you out there, if you're a healer, vendor, reader, or earth-friendly educational group seeking to participate in this fall event, well, you get to reserve your space now. Apply by September 15th for the Women of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival. To participate in this event, email wow at womenofwisdom.org. All right, everybody. We'll see you there. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Wonder how to play the game of life and actually win? Stop wondering and start winning the game of life with the unique, incomparable Lynn Brown. Lynn takes everyday aspects of life and infuses them with the magic of soul and passion to help others. She wants to help you next. Lynn offers a myriad of spiritual healing from chakra clearing, aura healing to even corporate and business readings. Bring your game face and visit letter R, letter U, into it.com or call 844 letter B into it. I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. You could cut ties with all the lies that you've been living in. And if you do not want to see me again, I would understand. And we are back. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. And our focus today is is working with Archangel Michael. There is nothing to fear when Archangel Michael is near. We are focusing on detaching from those fears, detaching from those attachments we need to let go of, and especially fear of the future. Think about how many are so afraid of the future that hasn't even happened yet. Wow. So we're going to we're going to be working with this angel. We are taking your calls if you'd like to call in for an intuitive angel reading. The number is 1-800-930-2819. And Brian, I believe we do have a caller holding. We have Deborah from Missouri. Yes, indeed. So we're going to bring her on right now. Welcome. Hello, Deborah. Hi. 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 Welcome to the show. Thank you. My, okay, is, what do you have a question for Michael? Because we're working specifically with this angel today. Okay, how, okay, with Michael, and maybe it's the other one too, but with Michael, um, also I see orange when there's no orange around. And mm-hmm. with um, Michael, 
um, when he gives me a message, how do I know what he's saying to me every time? How do you know what he's saying every time? Well, the, uh, first of all, it sounds like they're working uh, with your creativity and opening up to expand more of an openness to receive more. That's the orange that I'm feeling for you immediately. With The, the orange is a great color, but it's very associated with second chakra and creativity, and new beginnings, something new, creating, a, you know, carving out a new path, so to speak. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. With Michael... Well, actually, any angel, when you are trying to decipher if you're hearing correctly, um, the message will not keep changing. It will be the same one. It will be the same one. Uh, Michael will come forward sometimes a lot more direct. Um, I have had him actually... Now, I, I, they drop feathers for me all the time. I mean, they use feathers, but they use a lot of different means. You'll hear the same message from somebody, or you'll read it, or you'll hear it on the television. Uh, and it's like, wow, there it is again. There it is again. There it is again. That's how you know that's the answer. It'll come like that. Um, the, with feathers for me, which was crazy, uh, they'll use different color feathers, too. So you want to look at the color. It's not always just a white feather it could be brown it could be black it'd be different things and that means something different uh black feather is not necessarily negative at all by the way uh black can be very grounding so but they even had now how in the world would this get in there i had an umbrella closed up completely closed up inside and i open it up feather comes out I'm like, okay, how did that get in there? So, (laughs) yeah, they will be, (laughs) Michael will be very, if you don't get this one, I don't know. (laughs) know, He'll be very, very direct. When it's, when it's Raphael, it's kind of feels sometimes like gentle nudging, like, don't you want to work out? Don't you want to clean up your health, um, your food, your diet? You know, you'll feel like these nudges or it can sometimes feel like nagging if you're avoiding it. So think about that. It can always feel a little bit naggy, like, oh, I don't want to go there. If you're resisting the answer that they're sending you. Uh, If you have a lot of fear about what's happening tomorrow, I want to say something to you that's coming in right away for you, Deborah, from Michael. Mm -hmm. Uh, Instead of focusing on being happy with something that's going to happen in the future, be happy. Choose. Just choose to be happy right now. Just choose it. Don't worry about how it's going to come in. Just decide, you know what? I'm going to be happy. That's it. I'm going to be happy. I'm not going to worry about how it's going to happen. I'm just going to do this and really claim it. Just really be with that thought instead of it being de- contingent on something that might happen tomorrow or next year or next month. Is that making sense to you? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's easy to get caught up on the uh what's going what's coming up, what's coming up and it it is. It's a tendency that we have, but that's a tendency of our ego side, okay? Our higher self is not really going to do that. It's not going to do that. It's not going to be fretting and worrying about all that. So that's how you can know what you're trying to listen to the angel messages with, which is part of you. And our ego, we don't want to, you know, slam the ego. We want to teach the ego to trust our higher self and to let that part of us come through because a lot of the fears and a lot of the things that are um, happening that we don't trust or we're worried about, we're worried about future, we can't forget something in the past, uh, which a lot of people are probably experiencing today, especially, uh, we want to be right here right now we choose right now because that is where if you've been listening or following anything with you know law of attraction something like that your moment is now where you have all the power to do something about it every bit of it so deborah that was quite a bit that came through (laughs) yeah (laughs) i don't know if you were expecting that but he's saying it, it's almost like he he stand. What I feel, it's so funny. What I feel, and and the orange is fine. The orange is fine. It's not like you have to see blue. 
to know that Michael is around. A lot of times people do see the blue, but when you're seeing a different color coming in so strong, that energy is a message. That visualization of that color is very important because you said you were seeing all the orange. That's that's good. You trust what you're seeing. Trust that color. Study that color. What's the energy of that color? What's it trying to tell you? Look at all of those different aspects. It sounds to me like there's a lot of second chakra work going on. Is that making sense for you? We're like creating new things and creativity and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Is that what you mean? Um, any of it. Any of it. Physical. Are you having anything physically going on? I don't feel anything. I'm just asking to rule it out. Right. Right. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Look at physical, like, um, there's different things, uh, that like second chakra will manifest physically to try to give you a message to, um, uh, mm-hmm. you know, but creativity is the beginning and the birth of something new. Uh, you've always, you know, you've had that focus for a while, like, you know, to recreate and to develop something new. Well, if you're seeing orange now, that's a really good sign that's actually starting to work through and create some new paths to open your expansion and capacity to see a different perspective, to allow another uh, idea to come in. So embrace that orange and go with it. Absolutely. That's good. I was happy to hear that you were seeing the orange. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. There well, you go. I guess that- I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, Mike Michael is Michael's with you. Michael's with you. You have you have been working a lot with the angels and they are with you. Michael was coming through very strong because before the show even started, I was doing a lot of, you know, invocation and really focusing to bring in what he wanted to say today. Because he's very much about squashing some of the fear out there right now. And, you know, He'll come through and say, okay, this is what we're doing. I go, hey, I, I, you know, not a problem. Let's do this. Um, So I'll go through different phases where all of a sudden I'm getting all these strong messages from the divine. Like it's time, it's time, it's time to do this now. This was decided a couple of weeks ago that I was going to do it. I didn't know. So that's how it works. Um, You just trust it. You're not going to, you know, when, especially if it's about lining up step by step, something that hasn't unfolded yet, you're trusting that step or that nudge that you're feeling so strong. It'll constantly remind you it'll be a consistent message. That's the main thing that I wanted to make sure you understood, because that was your question. How do you know the answer? Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Thank you very much for calling in. That was a great read for you and and it's i'm actually excited for you with the orange can't wait to hear what happens with that what are you going to create now oh my goodness i know (laughs) well thank you very very much hold on to your girdle as they tell myrtle okay okay (laughs) (laughs) all right much love to you deborah bye-bye Oh, wow. Great, great, great call with Deborah. Uh, that was Deborah from Missouri. It was great to hear from her. If you want to call in, the number is 1 800 930 2819. We are going to take a short break here in just a moment. Today, we are focusing, if you're just tuning in, nothing to fear when Archangel Michael is near. How many of you out there regularly feel fear? Do you do anything about it? Do you actually stop for a moment, focus, call out and say, hey, could you help me out with this? Let them let them help you. When we have this much available to us in divine help and assistance and it's unlimited, doesn't cost you anything. Why not? Why not? Why do it by yourself when you have all of this available to you? Think about that. And that's the logic of spirituality to me. Stay with us. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen, and we are talking about nothing to fear when Archangel Michael is near. Call in if you want to for an intuitive angel read, 1-800-930-2819, and we will be right back after the break.
Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Wondering how to play the game of life and actually win? Stop wondering and start winning the game of life with the unique, incomparable Lynn Brown. Lynn takes everyday aspects of life and infuses them with the magic of soul and passion to help others. She wants to help you next. Lynn offers a myriad of spiritual healing from chakra clearing, aura healing to even corporate and business readings. Bring your game face and visit letter R, letter U, into it dot com or call 844 letter B into it. When you drive over the bridge into Pawkatuck or right before you enter Westerly, take a look down Cogswell Street. Capizano Olive Oils and Vinegars is now open. Owners Steve and Suzanne Capizano want to enlighten your taste buds and educate you. Enjoy Tuesdays with crusty bread, extra virgin olive oils, and aged balsamic vinegars. Wednesdays, it's samplings of fine loose leaf teas. Fridays, three olive oil choices paired with our balsamic vinegars. Sample and learn new and exciting flavors for different salads and cooking. Sundays revel outstanding pasta samplings and olive oil tastings with grated cheese. While you're there, you'll learn about the art and science of creating extra virgin olive oils. Who knew oil and vinegar could be so delicious and exciting? It's like sipping a fine wine. Come and experience Capizano Olive Oils and Vinegars next to Bogues Alley and Bess Eaton in downtown Pawkatuck, Connecticut. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Pat. I am super excited about the Women of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival coming in October. For those of you out there, if you're a healer, vendor, reader, or earth-friendly educational group seeking to participate in this fall event, well, you get to reserve your space now. Apply by September 15th for the Women of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival. To participate in this event, email wow at womenofwisdom.org. All right, everybody, we'll see you there. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio, the best in talk radio. back. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Jen, and you are listening to The Jen Royster Show. We are focusing and working with Archangel Michael today. Nothing to fear when Michael is near is our topic. We are focusing on removing fear, letting Michael help us cut those cords of fear, what's going on in our life, those attachments, maybe it's an addiction, maybe we're attached to an addictive person, whatever it is that's going on, you do not have to stay in that. He can help you detach from that. It's an amazing, an amazing experience. Um, And he is a lifelong best friend to me. So we are taking calls. If you'd like to call in, the number is 1-800-930-2819. We are doing intuitive angel reads with Archangel Michael today as the focus angel. So I guess he's my spirit angel guest today. Uh, And we do have another caller, Brian. Looks like we have Barbara from Wisconsin. Oh, yes, we do. Why don't we bring her on right now? And welcome, Barbara. Yeah, hello. Hi, Barbara. Welcome to the show. Uh, what can Hi, we do for you? And when I say we, Archangel Michael and 
I'll translate. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> what can Wonderful. we do for you, Barbara? Um, well, first of all, I just have to say I was totally um, driven to call you and to, to look up your station and to figure out how to get an app on my phone and all of that. Then I was told at 10 o'clock our time, Wisconsin, to call you, and I feel like there's a message for me. Um, and I do meditate and pray to Archangel Michael every morning, but I'm having some trouble making contact in in communication with my guides and whatever. But I'm 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 absolutely devoted to doing it. Okay. So okay. I wondered if there was well, any well, advice. Well, my goodness, you did put that. a lot of intention and effort into being here with us. So I want to say kudos and thank you for that. And also, thank you. absolutely, I mean, you put the intention and you were proactive to get an answer. And so you definitely have one. Um, yeah. Before we came out of break, uh, I did, I do meditate when I do see there's a caller holding and we're getting ready to bring them on. I'll meditate a few minutes to see if there's something coming in before you even say anything to me. And that did happen for you, Barbara. So I want to give you what Michael is wanting to say to you before you even ask me anything. Okay? Yes, please. You ready for that? The biggest thing that he's (laughs) saying is taking your time when you're making a decision. Um, It feels as though you're getting more confusion with the indecision um, because there's this need to rush to feel like you've achieved it. Uh, He's saying you don't have to do that. Just slow it down. And it's almost like you're trying to do it versus allow it in. So that's more where the wires are getting crossed. That's causing some of that block you're feeling. Is that making sense to you? It does because um, I'm a person who is always, felt I had to put a lot of effort and try real hard at everything. And so letting go and just, I mean, God still still works in my life, but I know I would like to be able to let go a little bit. Right. And, so that and you know, uh, yeah, yeah, no. Okay. That's, and he was really adamant, like, tell her this before she says anything. And I think that's to validate to you because how would I, how would I know that? Right now, Right. Yeah. Um, he was very spot on with that, apparently. Now, <laughs> you, and, and, you know, let's talk about that a little bit, because uh, just like the uh, first caller, when we're trying to do it because we felt like we had to climb uphill all the time in our life or we had to work so hard to make something happen, sometimes that's just more of a programming or a belief system or, you know, how we were taught to think we have to do it. And mm-hmm. you're experiencing that that that's just not working for you because your mm-hmm. spiritual growth is at a place where it wants you to go outside of that comfort zone, outside of that box of what you're used to doing and learning into uh, moving into a place of being and just taking a big sigh and letting it go, you know, dogs, um, I don't know if you have a dog or not, but when you have a dog, they take this great big breath and they just push it out when they relax and sit down or lay down. Uh They just go, you know, and they really let go. They really let go. But you're learning to let go of trying so hard. And he wants you to let him help you. You, uh, you know, and he's saying that right now. He says, I am right there. We're going to cut it. He says, taking that deep breath, your breath. He keeps bringing me back to your breath. And so thank you, Michael. He says, have her focusing on the breathing because the breathing is going to help you let go where he'll detach it when you ask him every day or help you. And then you're reattaching it because you're still trying to do it in the old programming way. That's more of our ego side, not our higher self side that knows it doesn't have to do all that. Does that make sense to you? It sure does make sense. And, like, uh, I know that I'm going to need some help from him to do that because I don't know how not to do what I'm doing. <laughs> but I <laughs> <Exactly>. will. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Yeah, well, you but know, I will breathe. I, I've heard this saying before, and it's one of my favorites. Um, you're not a human doing, you're a human being. Right. Okay. So I, yeah. I love that uh, because it's true. We, we try to do spirituality and spirituality is the opposite of a left brain activity of the physical world where you're doing something like doing the yard work or whatever you're doing, paying your bills, whatever. Uh, spirituality comes from a place that does not uh, follow the rules of this physical world. It's completely different. There is no doing. It's a being. So breath work is going to help you in a huge way. He is really pushing about the breath work. Really okay. wanting you to learn how to breathe slowly to help you let go because your breath is wired into your body to your nervous system to fight or flight to the to the whole the, the whole key of your nervous it's really an interesting thing um, when you breathe slowly it it will help anxiety it will immediately hit the switch automatically to tell your body it's okay you can let go you don't have to worry. So mm -hmm. your breath is going to help you find your way through this tunnel you're in. You feel like you're walking around blindly. Um, and being okay with not knowing what the next step is, is the other part that he's telling me for you. Be okay. Yeah. What I call the blank canvas, just be okay with that. Be comfortable with yeah. not having a plan. Okay. Does that's, that make sense? That's, that's well, it, it makes a lot of sense because I keep journaling. What am I going to do now? What is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're not. Yeah, <laughs> you're not comfortable in the blank canvas part of life because when we right. are going through such a transformation as I feel you have, Barbara, we have um, we are deprogramming and uh, dismantling the old. That all has to go away, and then and then we're with the blank canvas part. It's the in between phase. Um, of mm -hmm. the, you know, there isn't anything yet. And a lot of times that's the most difficult part for people because they're mm -hmm. so used to pushing so hard and driving so hard. And basically it's like uh, the little hamster on the wheel, just going around and around and around and not getting anywhere. Um, right. Yeah. It's time to get off the wheel, Barbara. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah. You know, and then you're going to be just... I yeah, just enjoy, um, actually enjoy daydreaming with a blank canvas. And I, I'd say blank canvas because for me, as an artist that, you know, we're sitting in front of the blank canvas um, and just sit with that and just visualize and try on different scenes and scenarios that you would like for your life. Enjoy that you can play around with that, erase it and redo it right now. Because this is a huge opportunity yeah. to really fine tune what you really want. Thank you. This is all making sense. It's funny. It's ironic because I thought, well, I'll see what she says I'm going to be doing in the future. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be, you're going to be uh, creating it right now. You need to be creating it. And that's, yeah, that's yeah, what you yeah. do in the blank canvas. You're putting the intention to the universe. Your thought energy is yeah. going to what you would like to see happen. Okay. What you would like to bring in, what you want. And it's being very specific and clear with that. So um, that's why you feel like it's not going anywhere because uh, you're trying to skip a step. Sure. Yeah. I love it. So this give that a try. Makes uh, oh, yeah. I really, I really like feel that you're going to find some positive energy with that. Um, that's a lot what we do with the intuitive painting workshops that, that, that I teach is helping people that don't even know anything about art be comfortable with that because yeah. it's sitting you in front of a physical blank canvas and working through that. It's an incredible experience to do that. But we have to go to break. We have to go to break. Wow. Thank you. These little breaks come so fast. And Barbara, I'm so proud mm -hmm. of you. And thank you for being so thank tenacious you. getting through. I appreciate it. It was really exciting and a wonderful um, highlight for my day. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. And welcome to our listening family. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Thank you. And uh, for everyone listening, you're listening to the Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen. We're working with Releasing Fear with Archangel Michael today. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
called the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Pat Show.com for listening times in your area. Are you ready to move past limiting beliefs and unconscious obstacles that are holding you back from financial prosperity? Do you want to be free from debt and that feeling of being disempowered? Mary Jane Allen is a financial healer and joy creation specialist who uses her unique set of tools included in her financial healing process to help her clients move past those beliefs and fears. For more information and to contact Mary Jane, visit her website, manifestyourlifedream.com and begin your financial healing process today. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Pat. I am super excited about the Women of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival coming in October. For those of you out there, if you're a healer, vendor, reader, or earth-friendly educational group seeking to participate in this fall event, well, you get to reserve your space now. Apply by September 15th for the Women of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival. To participate in this event, email wow at womenofwisdom.org. All right, everybody, we'll see you there. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Would you like to be a question with anything that comes up in your body or mind? Would you like to become totally aware and begin to function as the conscious being you truly are? Join Access Certified Facilitator Glenna Rice every month for a live teleclass where you can ask all of your questions and learn to create change in any aspect of your life. Visit GlennaRice.com today to learn more and don't miss the next call. Join the questionable conversation today at GlennaRice.com. You've been listening to Transformation Talk Radio, the new mainstream in radio. Oh, my, my. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Brian, for that. Oh, one. thank you, JR. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> a, little, <laughs> a little bit of a, we have fun with that one around here. Um, we are in the last segment of the show, and wow, what great readings and wonderful people we had uh, that called in. And thank you for calling in and sharing your experience and, and the message with other listeners, because really we all gained something from even listening to what's helping someone else. Now, while we were in this break, I asked Michael, does he have a message for everybody? Does, is there something for everyone? And he did come through, and he, I said, what would you like me to say to all of the listeners before we go off the air? He said, he said look at your life even the parts you don't want to, even the parts that you don't like, even the parts of you that you'd rather avoid and be truly, truly honest, like, like look at who you really are and love that part of you. Truly love every part of you, the parts that you feel ashamed of, the parts that you feel are inadequate, the parts that you feel uh, don't deserve love, all of that, absolutely, 
actually the opposite. And that's where we're going to shine a little light. That part of you needs to be acknowledged and loved and brought into the fold with the rest of you. That's how you become whole and complete. Now, in the next couple of minutes, I do want to do, and I'm surprising Brian, so don't worry about it, Brian, with anything. We're not going to use music. Uh, I want to do a few minutes of meditation with Michael to help you release any attachments, any addictions, any toxicity in your life. And we're working and focusing about that beautiful sword that he has. The sword has just beautiful light coming off the end. That's what I always see. Um, and it's just to find, and it will sever any kind of attachment, uh, addiction, anything you just can't stop thinking about any person you can't let go of. And you know, you need to, Oh boy, I know that's out there. What about the situation where something hurt you? Let this hit that right there. So in this moment, if you're not driving, please listen to this later. If you're driving, close your eyes for a moment and take that beautiful deep breath of life in. And we're going to ask Michael to please come in and be with us completely. Be with us. Let us feel his presence near us. We really feel it. You may warm up when he's around. If he's burning off any kind of toxicity, when it that energy, it a lot of times can feel warm. You may even feel the opposite. Don't worry about how you're feeling. Just wanted to give everybody heads up on that. Um, it's not like everybody in the whole world's having a hot flash at the same time. We are feeling that embrace of Michael and his love. And I always see these beautiful, huge a, it's just an incredible wingspan that completely wraps around you and just holds you and you feel so incredibly safe. You just feel so safe. You don't need to hold on. You don't need to hold on to those things you feel like you can't let go of, but you know, you're, you're not getting anywhere either. It, you're not happy. You're not healthy. Uh, Let's reverse all that. Let's sever that right now. Focus on that beautiful sword coming through. And you're going to hold the sword. This is Mike. Michael loves this. He taught me this. It was so amazing. You're holding Michael's sword. He's holding your hand, holding the sword. He's going to help you. And he's going to help you take that sword right through and sever every toxic tie, every toxic, everything, cord, attachment, addiction, feelings, emotion, toxic emotions, toxic thoughts, toxic relationships. And we're going to completely sever that. You're going to, you may feel a little emotional. You may feel a little, uh, shaky, take deep breaths. You're okay. You're feeling energy getting severed off that was draining all of your energy off. And now we're going to seal you up in a protection. Michael's got those beautiful wings around you. And we are going to allow that healing to close off and heal up any tears, rips, anything that is allowing other things to cord into you. We're going to seal that up in a protective shield around you. Think of yourself inside a completely enclosed circle. And we're going to fill that circle that more like a bubble, three dimensional all the way around, filling it with love and light, beautiful white light, beautiful light, healing light. It's going to heal like a beautiful, tender uh, healing treatment on all those tears, holes, rips, in your energetic field, anything that needs repairing and healing, it is just soothing it and it's mending it. And you are completely safe. You are completely safe. Michael wants to say to you now, you are safe. And to claim that in this moment, wherever you are, you can say it out loud or you can say it quietly. I am safe. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for showing me how powerful I truly am as an individual. You are saying this to yourself.
Thank you for being with me and giving me that strength and encouragement to power forward and to not let fear manipulate my thoughts. Fear is an energy. Fear is a thought. And then there's also a choice we can make. We can choose love, light, and that there is nothing to fear. We can choose the opposite of fear, which is what? Feeling safe, knowing that we are, we are provided for if we allow it in. We are looking at two opposite ends of the spectrum with that. I'm showing you the opposite end where it's light and safe. And I want to send that out with a huge intention right now. And everybody join me. We just had a beautiful healing together. And now let's send out some beautiful love and energy to all those dark areas of the world. All those people that are scared, all that fear, all that manipulation, everything that's going on out there. Let's send it to hearts that are grieving, that feel a loss. Send it out everywhere that needs to have a light shine on it for healing and love. We're going to love all of the world just like we love all of ourselves. Yeah, I know. Wow. But if there's something negative and toxic going on, that's exactly where love needs to go. That's exactly what it needs. It's, it doesn't have any there. So let's send some there. This is how we can empower and work together and really make a difference and transform this world into a place where we really want to call home. I want to say thank you to everyone listening today. If you're listening on the archive, thank you. And whenever you're listening to it, put that intention out and know that you are worthy and you have a lot of love to give yourself and out to the world. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen. I send much love and light to you. And thank you so much for being with me today. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, Visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com. This is Victoria Cohen, psychotherapist and soul coach here in Seattle. I'm giving a workshop called Thank Goodness for Gratitude at East West Bookshop, September 21st from 1 to 4. Gratitude works its magic as an antidote to challenging emotions, offering us an uplifting alternative to fear, anger, resentment, envy, regret, and depression. Call to register for the event at 206-523-3726 or online at eastwestbookshop.com. Helia Sophie, Sun Wisdom for the Crystal Age. Learn how humanity can align with a solar stream of wisdom coming from the central sun and assist our gradual awakening. Discover how you can accelerate the dawning of a new solar worldview. Get a wider paradigm and prepare yourself for new levels of your own awakening. At MERU University, two days online, August 31st and September 7th. Helia Sophie, Sun Wisdom for the Crystal Age. Register at MERUUniversity.org. Tired of traditional talk? People pontificating about this or that, the left or the right. Sometimes the truth is just all lost in the noise. Tune in each week to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, as nationally known guests talk about what's important to you, your life, your concerns, and your success. Tune in and turn on to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher. Visit ChuckGallagher.com for more information.
Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Pat. I am super excited about the Women of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival coming in October. For those of you out there, if you're a healer, vendor, reader, or earth-friendly educational group seeking to participate in this fall event, well, you get to reserve your space now. Apply by September 15th for the Women of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival. To participate in this event, email wow at womenofwisdom.org. All right, everybody. We'll see you there. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Wonder how to play the game of life and actually win? Stop wondering and start winning the game of life with the unique, incomparable Lynn Brown. Lynn takes everyday aspects of life and infuses them with the magic of soul and passion to help others. She wants to help you next. Lynn offers a myriad of spiritual healing from chakra clearing, aura healing to even corporate and business readings. Bring your game face and visit letter R, letter U, into it.com or call 844 letter B into it. Are you ready to move past limiting beliefs and unconscious obstacles that are holding you back from financial prosperity? Do you want to be free from debt and that feeling of being disempowered? Mary Jane Allen is a financial healer and joy creation specialist who uses her unique set of tools included in her financial healing process to help her clients move past those beliefs and fears. For more information and to contact Mary Jane, visit her website, manifestyourlifedream.com and begin your financial healing process today. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Pat. I am super excited about the Women of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival coming in October. For those of you out there, if you're a healer, vendor, reader, or earth-friendly educational group seeking to participate in this fall event, well, you get to reserve your space now. Apply by September 15th for the Women of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival. To participate in this event, email wow at womenofwisdom.org. All right, everybody, we'll see you there. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Would you like to be a question with anything that comes up in your body or mind? Would you like to become totally aware and begin to function as the conscious being you truly are? Join Access Certified Facilitator Glenna Rice every month for a live teleclass where you can ask all of your questions and learn to create change in any aspect of your life. Visit GlennaRice.com today to learn more and don't miss the next call. Join the questionable conversation today at GlennaRice.com. 